What is unfolding in the Gaza Strip is a humanitarian catastrophe. This tiny strip of land has been put under a strict blockade where 2.3 million people have been deprived of access to food, water and electricity. But things are expected to get worse. There is the possibility of a ground invasion by the state of Israel which could happen any moment. As we speak at this moment, the Israelis are carrying out what are being described as certain operations in order to try and feel as to how well prepared Hamas is to take on the Israeli forces once they enter. Now, Israel's prerogative seems set in stone. That's how it is describing it. And Israel is backed to the hilt by the Americans who have given the Israelis all the weapons that they need. And these weapons, given by the Americans, are being dropped on the Gaza Strip by the Israelis. The region is grappling underneath the barrage of rockets and bombardments. The videos of indiscriminate killings of mass attacks and public executions have now consumed the internet. The Israeli Defense Forces have said that their aim is very clear, that is to end this war by dismantling Hamas. But as they go about dismantling Hamas, the price is being paid by the common civilian people of Gaza. The United States of America, which has always been a big backer of the Israelis, has backed this Israeli plan. It has said that Israel can choose what it wants to do and when. Now, this is no time for neutrality or for false equivalence or for excuses for the inexcusable. There is never any justification for terrorism. And that's especially true after this rampage by Hamas. And anyone who wants lasting peace and security for this region must condemn and isolate Hamas. But the videos that have been shared by the IDF show their continued strikes on the alleged Hamas targets in Gaza. Western sector of the border. So as the psychological warfare continues, Hamas has also released a video showing militants with captive Israeli children during the armed group's weekend cross-border raid in the Gaza into the state of Israel. They had taken several of these Israeli children and many Israeli military men as captives. In the footage that's been put out by Hamas, the Hamas fighters are seen bandaging the foot of an Israeli child while others carried an infant. On the other hand, new documents have surfaced that reveal that Hamas intentionally had targeted a youth center in Israel's kibbutz region. This was done to try and capture as many hostages as possible and then to drag them back into the Gaza Strip. Now, this is an interesting detail that's been put forth by NBC News, which is an American media portal. And these documents have been labeled as top secret. And they include maps that show as to how Hamas had planned to surround and infiltrate into these Israeli areas. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office has released on social media a picture of a dead infant and also the charred body of a child which has created a lot of controversy. The Viet Vion have chosen not to show these pictures because of the very gory nature. The American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said during his visit that the Israeli government showed him the photographs and the videos of the Hamas atrocities and Israel's bid to bear Hamas's intentions before the global forum. The strikes against the militant Thank group's attempts to save itself some bargaining space and desist an imminent offensive. And thank you to the American people for your incredible support for Israel in our war against the barbarians of... Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.